All right, this one is called Nobody Talked About This Anime After Nokotan Is Trans Trump. What? Oh, yeah, there were some crazy people on Twitter trying to self insert their identity into Nokotan by saying, Oh, Nokotan, this deer human hybrid thing is actually trans. Uh, okay, but let's see what Chibi has to say. Anyone remember when Nokotan, the anime, was just making waves around the entire anime community, no matter where you went, either on Reddit, Tech on. Technically, Nokotan the anime was not making waves. It was the marketing through trailers and openings, which you could consider part of the anime, right? You're all, you, the openings are part of the anime episodes, right? And the trailers themselves are cherry-picked special highlight moments from the anime episodes. But the thing about this is, this is the perfect example of when viral marketing can do harm to yourself. The openings went crazy. The catchy song, the dance, people thought this is going to be the next brain rot Nichijou successor. Turns out it was not even close to that. Maybe the first episode, maybe the first two episodes, but fans, the community, everybody seeing the trailers and openings created this false notion that it would be some kind of crazy brain rot anime based on the openings. Their bar, the standard of expectations was way too high. Then the actual anime aired and people realized, shit. This isn't what we wanted. And part of that can be blamed on the studio for sure. I mean, they are the ones that made the trailers, right? The marketing team and everybody, they were all in on it and tried to really highlight the bizarreness of Nokotan. But once the actual thing comes out, people realized, shit, maybe it's really just mid. On YouTube, on Twitter, on TikTok, Facebook probably, you could not escape Nokotan. There was just so much fan art, mm -hmm. there were so many memes, there mm -hmm. was people parodying the dance. I saw it everywhere. There was VTubers getting into it. And it's just like, everything I learned about Nokotan prior to episode 1 airing was pretty much against my will. And I'm not dissatisfied with that. I did enjoy Nokotan's first two episodes, and I made videos on them. I talked about them. Notice how he says first two episodes, though. Pretty much everybody, myself included. After the first, second episode, it's just like, now what? The problem is, the first two episodes were in the realm of the bizarreness that was seen to be promised, right? Again, this promise was created by the audience themselves. Episode three onwards, they decided to in just immediately bring in, um, like, the, the, the people love uh, Nokotan, right? People love Nokotan doing crazy shit. But then after that, episode, episode two, they start expanding the roster by introducing new characters, and the priority for the next, like, three or four episodes is just introducing, you know, Anko, Bashame, the student council, all these separate characters that we don't really give a fuck about, right? If you take away Nokotan, this is a slice-of-life anime that no one gives a shit about. And by doing that, now you're actively hurting your fans where not only are they not getting the craziness that they were expecting from episodes one and beyond, and then you introduce a roster of characters that no one gives a fuck about. And the main content is this blonde girl named Koshtan being the straight man. Being the straight man, reacting in a very, oh my god, I can't believe you did that. That shit gets old so fucking fast. And you lose the audience. No longer do they have Nokotan. You're introducing new characters no one gives a fuck about through Koshtan's eyes and through mid-fucking straight man adaptation. It makes a lot of sense why this anime just, quote-unquote, fell off. It was pretty fun. It's, it's a very fun show. And it was kind of like a modern-age Nichijo, which, ironically enough, earlier this morning, Nichijo, a continuation of some mm. kind of Nichijo, was announced. And nice. KyoAni... One day we'll watch this, guys. One day. Vote it in. He is, uh working on it so uh that is food for thought there it, it, it's ironic that i'm making this topic about nokotan of all things when technically what many people labeled as the new modern age nichijo and i think that labeling was it, it's it i feel bad for that show <laughs> nokotan it feels like they were really trying to make this new crazy anime but the labeling was done by the audience but the openings and the trailers and the marketing is what made the audience want to label it as that. It's just, again, viral marketing gone wrong, where you succeeded too much, and now you can't deliver the expectations that's been created in people's minds. You know, it's getting a continuation. But anyways, back onto the main topic, though. I made a post about 40 or so minutes ago, and it's quickly starting to gain traction, and I'm seeing a lot of people commenting on their thoughts of Nokotan, because... Mm -hmm. 
I, you can kind of get a good on. I love this mini Nokotan though. This chibi Nokotan. Oh, this this Moto Nokotan is a delight. Understanding what people feel or how they're feeling about the show. And in reality, what's really surprising. The jokes are really hit and miss. I agree. The jokes are literally like 90s fucking like old ass references and memes that no one gets. Because most motherfuckers are born after those, you know, the that generation. Thing is, is that Nokaton actually has finished airing. It literally finished airing about a few days ago on mm -hmm. September 18th. And once again, I have seen basically next to no conversation around its conclusion, around the finale of the show. Because it's so fucking mid and there's nothing to talk about, right? I stopped at episode 10 to get to Bashami's rice field. It's her Vinland. And to me, the first half of, again, it's just Kostan just being fucking annoying. I wish that she would just play into the memes with everybody else rather than being the one person being like, Oh my god, am I the only normal person? That shit's so fucking boring. I hate that formula. Maybe it can be done well. Maybe Kostan was just a shitty straight man. But... The last half, maybe the last quarter, Bashame and Anko and Suchi making the rice field. It was so cute. It was such a nice slice of life moment. Notice how you take away Koshitan and suddenly the show is much more palpable. At that point, I knew if I finish this anime, I'm going to have a really bad fucking image of this show in my mind. A worse one that I already have. So I left it on the rice field episode. Episode 10 is where it ends. In my head, the journey always continues. Who knows how good episode 11, 12 is. Because I didn't finish, now I can, you know, be deluded into thinking it wasn't so bad for the people that actually watched it. I hear it was just, ugh. And there's a few hypotheses I have of why this is the case. But one thing in particular I do want to, you know, showcase is that people's overall reaction seemed to be more or less, it got very stale. It got... Absolutely. The jokes are not funny. Half the time I'm watching and I'm like, oh, old reference. That's like 30 fucking years old. I don't get it. Wow, okay, Koshitan's angry now, haha, <laughs> people doing crazy stuff. Ugh, Jesus fucking Christ. And then sometimes Nokotan shows up and is all cute, and I'm like, oh, that's kind of cute. Very repetitive, it got very boring, it was a one-trick pony, and that was about it. Once you watch the first few episodes, it wasn't really worth continuing. And, Pretty much. you know, I can't speak for the quality of the show, I'm not gonna say it. The production value, though, like the animation, the art, it was pretty crisp. It was. Even like the minimal action scenes that it had, I enjoyed it. It wasn't the production value that made this shit fail though. It's the overall just like concept of this show, right? The voice acting soundtrack, none of that shit is bad. It's just the concept of this show and the mis like the, the, and the false expectation created from the audience's minds after watching the viral marketing campaign. It is a like a really bad anime or anything because what I watched I really enjoyed I had a good time with it but I will be blunt I did stop watching it after like episode two like mm. after episode two I forced myself to watch episode 10 I think I know what I'm talking about stop watching it and yeah I just I haven't went back to it it wasn't because I disliked it wasn't because I hated it nothing like that I just nothing like that just didn't go back to watching it and I understand my situation might be different from a lot of people but I do notice that there's just there hasn't been a lot of conversation to the same degree as like let's say Alia sometimes you know says her feelings in Russian. They didn't even have the Dark Souls reference. No, we did. There was that one scene. I forget exactly which episode it was. It wasn't the earlier half. I'm pretty sure we did see your deer or some shit like in red font. I I, I I'm pretty sure I saw it. Did I see it? Is this a Mandela effect? I'm not gonna go back to fucking check it. To also just other series collectively from this anime season. And genuinely, the last conversation I saw around the show before it ended a few days ago was this whole ordeal with, you know, Nokotan being trans because she- This is completely irrelevant, has nothing to do with how the audience enjoys the show. This is a mentally ill person on Twitter, self-inserting themselves. Uh, <laughs> again, this has nothing to do with it. Absolutely fucking nothing. She has antlers because Mel Deer have antlers. And I remember this caused a lot of controversy and stuff within the anime community. And I'm not going to really get into this, but this was like the last true discussion I saw on the show. So that is some food for thought. So I'm just like, what actually happened? And fundamentally... I've already told you what happened. Miss Magic Expectations. The straight man formula fucking being mid. The show just fucking 
having jokes that th just does not resonate with the modern audience. It makes a lot of sense. This show is technically a comedy. And a comedy is very hard to continuously keep people's attention. Even Konosuba. Comedy is very subjective. Even Konosuba, there are jokes that just fall flat. And I'm just kind of staring at me like, am I supposed to laugh? But for the most part, I think Konosuba does a fantastic job. Nokutan, it's like a fucking 1 out of 10. Especially if it doesn't have a very engaging plot. Because when we look at what Nokutan, in essence, is about, it's about a girl, a dear girl, that uh, comes to school, so to speak. And, you know, the entire cast of characters are reacting to her being a dear girl and all this type of stuff. Very weird shenanigans with her. And there's been, time and time again, a lot of anime very similar to that degree like Nokotan does but obviously when you use the same gag over and over again and mm -hmm. you don't necessarily mix it up or try to develop something it's going to get very boring very quickly it and will. I feel like this showcases once again the everlasting masterpiece in charm that Gintama is as a series because despite it being a parody show it somehow is able to stand the test of time and label itself as one of the best manga series of all time, even if it is mainly just a comedy. It does have serious stuff, but it's able to tell a plot even through its comedy. And it's very hard to do something like that. It honestly is. And I feel like Nokotan is one of those shows that started off very good, very high expectations, a lot of comedy, good art and animation. But overall, it flatlined because it didn't innovate its jokes. I think the moment that, okay, again, the first two episodes, they shot everything. They literally blew their load. There was nothing more they had. There's, if you look at the trailer, most of the fucking content comes from like the first two episodes. And I think episode five or six, I forget which one it was, when we throw a dynamite onto the gym. That episode went crazy again. But besides that, that's it. Because I feel like, you know, overall, Nokotan is fun, but like I said, just taking a one little look at just my comments of what people have said on this post alone, yeah, they're pretty much saying that, yeah, the show got boring. Yeah, there's people in here that says it was enjoyable, it's peak and all that, which is great, but at the end of the day, comedy is very subjective, and it does come down to personal taste if people- Absolutely, right? Some people find shit funny, some people find shit not funny, but- I hear majority of people saying this comedy does not resonate with me. I don't give a fuck more than, oh my god, dear anime is so peak. That's got to mean something. People like the comedy or not. And, you know, some people like, you know, low grade tier quality of poop jokes and stuff. So it's like, when you factor that in, it makes a lot of sense. But I don't say, I'm not saying that Nokotan had low tier jokes and stuff. But if it didn't really have an. I think that the jokes did not match the audience. Who the fuck is these jokes for? Straight up. Did you guys in chat understand most of the jokes happening? Most of the joke jokes happening are things that has a little bit of a culture beer within Japanese culture context itself. And then on top of that, it's a different generational joke. Like I straight up never felt like these jokes fucking made sense to me except for when Nokotan does some bizarre shit. All these different references, I'm like just going over my head and you could say L media literacy. Sure, maybe, but at the same time, who the fuck is our audience and where is the audience watching it? Do you see them? I don't see them. An ongoing plot and progression like these comments are saying. And on top of that, it didn't necessarily do anything re like new with its comedy. Then yeah, it seems like it makes sense why it really just dropped off the face of the earth. Which is pretty sad because the marketing of this series was some of the best marketing I have ever seen. And... Is that a good thing or a bad thing? If the marketing wasn't there, would have Nokotan gotten this kind of treatment? Would people have just skipped over it and got less viewership than a situation where the marketing was so crazy and more people watched it but then realized that it's just not what it is? I don't know. But in terms of if the goal was to just get as much engagement and create a lot of attention for the show as possible, then yes, the marketing went fucking insane. For an anime, and I, I do want to talk about that briefly before I wrap up this video. I made a video on Nokotan doing the parody as well. You know, I just did it because it was fun. I did like a little ReZero thing. I made it a while back. I mean, I even did this little clip here. And, you know, one thing I've noticed over the years as a content creator, a lot of Japanese companies are um, old-fashioned. You mm -hmm. use any other material, copyright strike. Yep. That, that's what they'll do. They'll go the yep. nuclear option. Instead of, you know, content claiming, they'll copyright strike you. But the thing is, is Nokotan allowed people, the people that worked on this show, allowed people to use their music and scenes and parody it, and it didn't strike your videos down. 
Wow, look at that, and the market went crazy. If only we could tell these delusional Japanese fucking corpo boomers that people making content and doing free advertisement can only better their bottom line. What should we do? Have free advertisement and get more attraction to our show? Or shall we go out of our way to shoot down these volunteers because they're fucking retarded? That will never make sense to me in my mind. Genuinely will never make sense how Japanese companies will go out and strike anime content even, and specifically transformative anime content that only brings in more fucking attention to their show. Again, just fucking boomers in Japan and their corporate fucking stringent structure that'll never change until, you know, a new generation passes over. Which is strange. And I do... I, I am happy about the openness of, I'm assuming, the studio and staff that allowed Nokoton to More of a modern studio? a success, at least in the beginning, with a lot of people talking about it. It definitely was effective marketing. A lot of people just did free advertisement for the show. Hell, I probably did as well. So it's just like... I do think that in the grand scheme of things, I hope that more companies do learn from Nokoton and allow sure. content creators to talk about the show without in fear of, let's say copyright strikes and takedown notices because i never experienced any problems like that especially when i played just straight up the music and showed animation clips of the show once again th this is a very rare thing because normally when i show stuff like that instantly it it's it's taken down they, they do not like that whatsoever let me prove to you something right now then what chibi is saying is true but just to give you an idea of what's going on, let me show you my analytics. And we're going to search by. Come over here. We're going to search by description, Nokotan. Let's see it. Sort by views from the beginning. So these are, of course, right? If you look at the views, right? This is a video for the trailers and the opening, just getting crazy views, sure, sure, sure. If you, if you look at it, um, they do, obviously, copyright claim it, but they don't block it, which is all I really care about. Like, sure, take your money, take your fucking, like, fucking, like, five dollars I made out of the video. I, I don't care, I just want more people knowing that I'm making this content and for people to show up. But also, another thing, let's, let's start by the date, right? Let's start by the date and see. <laughs> so this is the first no time video I've ever made. 38k, 38k, right? Then, <laughs> 39, 23, 16, and these are all... This is the beginning of the actual anime episode, right? All these three are just like trailers and openings. Then the episodes. <laughs> then some random Nokotan drama stuff. 11k by episode 2, right? 8k by episode 3, and then... Uh-oh, uh-oh, we're halving. Where's, where's, the, where's the steam going? Usually... The uh, viewership always dies down for any type of, you know, any type of show. Basically, <laughs> the graph looks like this, where in the beginning, you'll have a lot of people checking out just the beginning, but not everyone's going to watch the entire thing. So it's going to look like this, where in the beginning, the viewership will be like pretty high. And then it'll kind of go down and then it'll stabilize at like some new level. Like this is what I care about. This is what I declare like the floor viewership where, you know, this is like episode one, right? This is like episode one, episode two, episode three, four. And then from on out, it just kind of stabilizes like that. And you can see that like, yeah, 16K, 11K. And then by episode five, it's just still hanging on episode six. It's good, but you can sail. You can see the, you know, the, the, the drop. It, it's normal. It's normal, but also the fall off is quite insane. And again, it's just again, at the end of the day, just viral marketing and mismanaged expectations in the people's hearts. That's it. So yeah, I don't know. I, I wanted to talk about this because Nokoton ended a few days ago. I've seen next to no conversation around its conclusion, which is very sad. And so I'm going to ask those out there that have actually finished the show... What would you rate it? Is it worth watching? Is it really the modern day Nichijo? Does it hold? It is not modern day Nichijo. 7.21 is a fucking ridiculous score for an anime like this. I think that this should be a 6 point something, to be honest. 7.21 is crazy. You're, if you're in the realm of the 7s, like the anime is fucking amazing. Nokutan, sure, the production value was pretty decent, but like in, ter in terms of the enjoyment I got, on like a good episode, maybe like a 7, most of it is like a 6 point something. Hold up the Nichijou, and do you think that, you know, 
Nichi Joe City the Animation is going to be a lot better. You know, let me know in the comments below. But okay, I'll leave it at that. Thank you so much for watching. Be safe. That's pretty much it, guys. I think that Nokotan is pretty much the biggest overrated fall-off anime of summer 2024. And it's not really its fault. I guess you could blame it on the marketing, right? Again, the false expectations, the promise that could never be delivered from a show like this. I loved Nokotan in the beginning. I loved this girl character. However, this blonde bitch named as Koshitan is the worst fucking straight man I've ever seen in a comedy anime. Maybe you haven't seen enough comedy animes to see even worse girls, but I think this is straight up it. People don't understand the fucking jokes because it's too old. This girl, the whole formula is wacky crazy shit happening and this girl just being like, oh my god, I'm the only normal one here. Is anyone else that's crazed about this? If only only she fucking played into the memes and just like was as bizarre as everyone else. I straight up think that the show would have done way better. If this blonde girl, all she had to do was just play along with her friends and not be the straight man. I think that comedy content would have hit way harder than, ep when, than her just being the fucking straight man. But that's just my opinion. Please go give Mr. Chibi's video a like. Check out his channel if you haven't. And I'll see you next time.